everyone, my name is Ed DaCosta of eddacosta.com and the Ascend 90 Day Transformation Program. And this is my video blog entry for Wednesday, December the 19th, 2012. As you can tell uh, in the background here, I'm sitting in my family room in front of a, a very large Christmas tree. So if you uh, celebrate Christmas, I wish you uh, Merry Christmas to you and your family. Uh, this is my last video blog, obviously, uh, before uh, the Christmas holiday. I want to chat with you today about a term that sounds like it's an oxymoron and that is planned spontaneity. Now as an executive coach I talk to clients all day long about their goals and how they're doing reaching their goals and their desired state and their present state and all of those sorts of things that I've, I've blogged and, and uh, shot videos about in the past. But here in the last week I had a few conversations uh, with people about their goals on the family side. And while some people will go ahead and plan, for example, vacations and make sure that they've got time off and coordinate those types of things, they don't do very much, if, at, if anything, on smaller items, things that people don't typically plan. And so one of the things that uh, a client said to me is, well, you know, I'm not big on planning those sorts of things. I'm really more of a um, spontaneous, a, you know, fly by the seat of my pants. You know, I, I like to kind of do things on a whim. And again, there's a whole lot to be said for having the flexibility and carefree kind of attitude that allows you to decide on a Friday that you're going to go off uh, for the weekend, so long as there's, you know, nothing irresponsible uh about doing that, but I'm talking about planning events that are like that in advance. And let me give you the examples that I'm talking about. Again, in our personal lives, you can plan too and not become rigid like a robot. I'm talking about date night with your significant other, your husband, your wife, your boyfriend, your girlfriend. I'm talking about um, calling your mother or your father, your grandparents. Talking about getting together with friends. Talking about your exercise routine. Don't wait for these things to kind of come up because invariably we allow other items in our lives to fill up all the space. And so these big rocks, these important things in our lives don't get put in at, at, in the first place and so we can't squeeze them in. Let me ask you, when is the last time you had a spontaneous date night? For most people, they can't recall if they've ever, or if they did, when they did. So, my wife and I, we have date night every other Saturday night. Now, we move it from time to time um, because other uh, events get in the way, but we really do make a concerted effort not to cancel them, but simply to reschedule them. And it's not all the time that it's dinner and a movie or anything significant. There have been times we've, we've made a grocery store run on a date night, but we were together. We were together and we were talking uh, during that quote-unquote date. Guys, do not take this as advice for a date night. I'm not suggesting the grocery store. I'm just saying it doesn't have to be a big production in order to uh, be effective. Because what you're saying to that person is that you're important to me and you're so important that I'm going to put you in my calendar. And again, when you execute it, when you do it, it doesn't come across as robotic or impersonal. It comes across very natural, very authentic, because it is a reflection of your priorities. And, and again, I've spoken to uh, some of you probably have heard this before, but I have a monthly a dinner with each one of my uh, three children, um, one at a time. And again, we move it from time to time uh, due to conflicts. Two are in college and one is in high school. But we do it every month. And it's just our time to be together. And we don't have to have a, an earth-shaking conversation, just a conversation one-on-one. -on -one. Again, it sends a message that you're important, I love you, and I want to maintain our relationship. So, you want to call it an oxymoron, that's fine. But I'm a big fan of planned spontaneity. Again, my name is Ed DaCosta, 
And wherever you are in this great, big, beautiful world, make it.